okay guys so here it is um i'm gonna show to you where to download um the audacity software um it's free and uh, it's because i thought it's because i bought the um behringer u control uca222 but it's actually free uh on the behringer um website so all we need to do is on Google just type Behringer it's there already Behringer.com okay that's the one and then go to support and there's product registration i did already i registered my product which is the uca uh, 222 and here it is downloads so on, on this area click it and then you can search here for your product which is with me it's the uca 222 let's see There's two versions actually, the UCA202 or the UCA222. It's almost the same. And then you got all software for Mac or for Windows. There's the audio software for Mac, audio software for Windows. Effects, hosts, instruments, etc. So it's all in here. But what I downloaded was the audio software for windows that's the one that i downloaded so you can download anything here that you think you needed and it's either for your mac or windows so let's say audio software for windows there you go but i already downloaded this one so it's not a problem right so we'll go to downloads this is my downloads and it's this one win all software oh actually i downloaded all software sorry and it's on a it's winzip uh, type of files okay right let's do that one double click there it is and then if you want to um, extract the files you can or let's see if I can do another right click and Windows Explorer so I I right click and then I op open with Windows Explorer there it is and audio software the instrument host effects so audacity podcast and let's go up to audacity so you got the license and this is the one there's important note there's the source code this uh, is the copyright okay um, and we got the license and read me mm -mm. free platform blah 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 okay shall we install it extract all Okay. Good luck. What is this source code? Mm. Okay, so
activities as well as the city new Mm -hmm. I'm not familiar with Audacity, so I'm just trying to know how to go about with this one. Mm -hmm. Preference. Interface. Nano mono. Interface. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try and connect this one and see how it goes. Go to audio input output output mm, speaker uh, manager device so it's the same at the moment right Done properly. device is ready okay device is ready preference again input output playback so you got USB audio codec for the playback recording device channel you got stereo mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Web. What are the other options? Mm -hmm. MP3 Export as MP3 Not found This limb here, isn't it? Mm, got it right so we can export it um, using that lame thingy okie dokie we can try and record probably later but that's it guys we've installed it uh, it was a bit difficult we had to unzip it then when we unzipped it it created um, its own file I think it's on downloads yeah this one and then you got audio software audacity and that's the installer the other thing that I wanted to do is to try and plug this one in guitar rig session by native instrument and let's see if it's going to work with audacity so this one put it inside and plug it in there we go there it is this was installed already for my um, energy xt but let's see if it's gonna work here so audio input output and let's see if it didn't change maybe i need to close the audacity first so that it can be detected right there we go open it again edit preference input output yeah there it is session io output guitar rig and then device 
session uh, IO input guitar rig session channel there's option for mono or stereo wow quality and we drive format yeah it's the same spectrogram directories interface mouse okay okay um, if we so this is a new project um, bear with me because I'm not really very good with this one new audio track so you go to project unlike with energy xt you go to file and then you do new project but in here if you click new project it will just be the same nothing happens until i think you put here project and then new audio track new stereo track new label track new time track so audio track there it is and from here Okay, waveform from pitch mono left channel right channel. That's the one that I really needed. Meaning, I can simultaneously record a guitar and the vocals together using this kind of thing because you got the left channel, which could be, which could be dedicated to my vocals and right channel for the guitar. And then if I record it it will be one two and I can edit the vocal separately edit the guitar separately Wow okay that's the idea or if it's a band you can record your bassist and your drummer oh bassist and your guitarist together that's two tracks already then you record the drums separately or you can record the, the vocalist and the guitarist and then the bass and the drums you can add it later wow so that's the idea just click this audio track and then you got these options okay okay Recorder. Um, let's see. Let's add some more new audio track, and then um, solo mute. And if we put this as left channel, I will put this as right channel. How can um, how can you record them all together? Just yeah, yeah. Okay. But why is it there's another one here? Hmm interesting it's fine i will learn it uh, through time for now at least i got a rough idea about audacity how to install so guys this is what i call idiot's guide to recording i got my ipad to record what I will be doing uh, on the screen uh, this is uh, audacity installed on my laptop my condenser microphone and my minion earphones connected to the interface uh, for now we will be using the native instrument guitar rig session IO and then that's connected by a USB to my laptop and then we will be uh, putting so this is the XLR 
I can power it at the back for the um, this one um, that's the one that's for the um, phantom power 48 volts there you go and there it is it's on now and that's the lead going to our condenser microphone and then we will set up our uh, audacity okay so here's what we're gonna do project audio track and then let's say this one is our left channel and then project again oops project again audio track this is our right channel okay how can we uh, let's go to preferences first and then session io session io stereo channel hmm, it's there so there's no there's no monitor or something like I know that the signal is coming in uh -huh. let's just try and put the earphones yeah we can't hear sound sound uh, monitor Ooh. How can I know if there's no monitor? It's there. Hmm. Sound, sound. Vertical, stereo, linear. Oh, monitoring input. Yes, sound check. I can hear it now so we went here and then monitor input but there's a delay a very distinct delay um, and where is this one yeah so um how can we manage the delay um, quality 22 fast sync high quality sample rate real time um, no, this is rubbish. Um, there's really a big delay. Um, maybe this one OCG. No, that's export. Uh, most one, most narrow, maximum scale. Um, now. I don't know how to solve the the delay. There's a massive delay. Mm -hmm. So this is not practical. Do -do -do. Okay let's do this it's really hard so um, we managed to record and stop the uh, recording 
but we couldn't find the truck um for some reason i think it keeps adding a new truck um there it is it's like what happened earlier but i just didn't realize that when you hit record it automatically adds a new track i think by default it's doing that one so we already got like three new tracks in this recording now so this one even though we set it up is still not enough that's not the one it's down here now and then split stereo track there you split stereo track after okay now you can play them separately but the quality is really low okay so what we're gonna do is let's export the file there it is file then export as mp3 uh, on the desktop and we'll just put the city sample and then save Let's just leave this one blank. It's for your MP3 files. You need to have a title, artist, album, year, and all. So just skip that one. There it is. Okay, let's close this one. No, we don't want to save that. And there it is. It's over there. Okay. So that's it, guys, uh, for now. I think it's not a very good uh, platform for my recording. I would still be going back to my Energy XT. It's quite faster and I'm more familiar with it. So it's up to you guys. If you want to use, maybe you can explore more about Audacity. There's loads of tutorial on YouTube. But for me at the moment, I find it not working. <laughs> I mean it works we've downloaded it we've opened it we've managed to record stuff on it but that's not what i wanted i wanted a, a, an easy platform at the same time no lagging and um, let's see i might change my mind once i manage to learn more about audacity so bye for now guys i hope that uh, this video will uh, help you in some ways so god bless and see you later